Hello there, Gemini, and welcome to your Oracle messages for whenever you guys get this video and it resonates for your situation. Um, Gemini, I just want to let you guys know that you guys really are having some type of a conclusion and an ending, but a whole new chapter that is really preparing you guys um, for something that is a lot more fulfilling than where you guys have been. Uh, so there's something that's coming to fruition that is a new beginning for a lot of you Geminis, okay? So um, if you find the messages don't resonate for you at all, check your moon, your rising, or your Venus signs, or feel free to check out the past Oracle messages or SOS readings or pick a card readings. Those are all timeless, okay? So let's see what um, messages come out for you. So yeah, change and transition. You guys are really um, being led safely through a time of change, um, a time of um, endings and beginnings here. So trust what's happening um, and, and trust your instincts about what is also happening and opening up for you because I do see a situation where you guys, um, you guys are opening up yourself to some um, new life experience here. So. Um, make sure that you guys, Gemini, honor your beauty. I feel a lot of you guys have really changed and transformed and you have become even more radiant, even more beautiful. Um, and this always starts, um, you know, outer beauty starts with inner beauty. Okay, so honor your beauty because you guys are radiating. Um, and for some of you guys, just allow the change and transition and the transformation to happen because uh, you guys are really going to... Um, really illuminate yourself and um just allow whatever comes to you uh, to come because i do feel that a lot of you guys there's like this massive healing happening with um, the heart chakra as well um, the other thing is is taking a step back um, and taking a step back from what's not serving you and just really closing that chapter because i feel that you guys really are opening up yourself to a whole new chapter a whole new beginning for yourself okay so maybe for some of you guys um you know, maybe it's time to kind of reevaluate and reassess where you're at. Uh, take a moment and take a step back to kind of figure out what is serving you and what's not serving you. Okay. Uh, what else for Gemini? Yeah, the moon um, mm -hmm. being guided. So this is taking a lot of your guys' strength right now. Um, keep your hope alive about a situation though, Gemini, look at this. So change and transition, right? Being safely guided through a time of uncertainty, maybe a, a time of discomfort, um, maybe a time where for some of you Geminis, maybe something was revealed to you or there may be new visions or new abilities being revealed to some of you guys too through a time of transition and change, okay? Um, there was something very challenging for a lot of you guys, but um, with all of that, you know, this is the thing. You guys are really being guided at this time. So honor your beauty and honor your strength, okay? Uh, because there is something that is very solid and secure about you, Gemini. Um, and so keep your hope alive because something is really um, opening up for you. New beginnings, okay? New happy beginnings. And look, we have this moon and the moon here. Uh, what else for Gemini? Maybe some of you guys, there was a something, for some of you guys, take it if it resonates, maybe there was a change that had happened here that was quite challenging or uncomfortable or whatever it is. There was just a transition, a change that has happened, and maybe it did have you guys question your value or question your own beauty. Maybe there was something here with feeling neglected or abandoned or rejected or, you know, whatever it is. These are the type of ways of thinking that aren't serving you. For some of you guys, you know, going back, just honor your beauty. There's something very beautiful about you. Um, hold steady to the course right now and, and trust this change and this transition for you, okay? Look, divine energy, perfect harmony and miracles. We have temperance energy here. Yeah, hope, change and transition to bring you guys into a situation that will give you guys a lot of um, 
feelings of harmony and lots of miracles here. So something is coming together for you guys. Um, again, I was talking about a new reality um, and we have a Sagittarius energy is coming through Gemini. So some of you guys may have Sag Sagittarius placements in your chart. You don't have to, um, or you could be dealing with the Sagittarius. Um, but yeah, you guys, the, the, all of these things, you guys are being safely guided through a time right now. So keep your hope alive. Um, you guys are really pr having a promise of a new day here of perfect harmony, divine energy. Okay. There is, um, there is a, um, a blending uh, of reality, uh, coming together here. Okay. And this is going to be your new chapter. What else for Gemini? There's going to be more. Mm -hmm. Fortitude, passion, and leadership. So there's something that is going to take you guys great strength and courage um, to really move forward here. Uh, Knight of Wands energy is coming through here. So, you know, a lot of you guys too are, uh, um, you know, with the strength card and the hope, I'm getting star card energy coming through. So Gemini, I do feel that you guys are being enlightened and being shown your path and your destiny. Cause a lot of you guys have this energy about you that is um, courageous and you're kind of like this, I don't know, for some of you guys take it, take it if it resonates, but maybe also you're just one of those that kind of, um, you know, you, you uh, stick up for the weaker ones or you try to um, encourage the weaker ones or something like that, okay? Now, with the Fox energy too, there could have been a situation that, you know, in the past or something has happened here where there could have been some unknown um, truths or you could have dealt with um, possibly a Knight of Wands energy too, um, you know, they could have been very uh, in and out, non-committal. There could have been an en energy where, um, I don't know, they could have just been um, hot and cold one minute. Um, yeah. So, but what I'm seeing is for a lot of you guys, change and transition. And Fox reminds me of being adaptable and flexible. Um, and enjoying your journey. So you're definitely on this new journey. Okay, so enjoy it. Um, some of you guys, there may be in a situation here where there may even be a Knight of Wands energy here. Um, so some of you guys may have a new beginning when it comes to uh, passion um, with someone. Okay, what else? Could be a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries. I got to see what the one on the bottom is. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You guys are receiving divine blessings because of what you guys are um, going through and sticking through. So expect a divine gift. Mm -hmm. Expect prosperity for a lot of you guys and expect a new opportunity. Something that is um, going to give you guys a lot of peace and hope here. Okay. Let's see what this card is. Look at this queen of cups. Yeah. Psychic, visionary, compassion, radiance. Um, I think I was already talking about this. So a lot of you guys are going to have a real, um, opportunity when it comes to the matters of the heart, um, maybe sharing love with someone here. Also, I'm seeing a lot of you Gemini is really stepping into an opportunity, um, with your abilities, your talents, your gifts, your spiritual uh, gifts here. Okay. I'm also seeing a a solid uh, opportunity with a partner here could be a, a earth sign or a water sign I mean they could be any sign okay you got a real opportunity that's manifesting before your eyes here okay so get ready for adventure get ready for passion and I have to show you this so this jellyfish queen of cups look at this the word radiance is on here what was I saying? You guys really are coming into and should really honor your radiance, your beauty, because it starts from the inside out. Okay. And that's true beauty. And that's exactly what you guys are radiating out into the world right now. Okay. This is part of your strength. Follow your heart in a situation. Something real and tangible is uh, about to manifest here. 
some of you guys may have a real opportunity to make some type of wise purchase or investment as well okay what else for um gemini look at that rejuvenating yeah clear the past and heal and heal the present look at this change in transition right this is what you guys are healing so you know it's like um something something is ready to just end for you like there it's just i think for a lot of you guys this rejuvenating rain again i was getting like star card energy too so it's a sense of renewal and purification for you guys okay um, try to stay in the present moment as much as possible because there is some type of opportunities where um, you guys are going to have to kind of think quick on your feet as well. Okay. Uh, what else? Yeah, some of you guys are healing some type of um, lost opportunity that, um, you know, that was really meaningful for a lot of you guys. But either way, you're, you're really clearing the past, okay, and healing yourself and radiating from it as well so take a risk and venture forward what did i tell you guys the knight of wands you guys are taking there's some type of adventure for you guys so there could be travel there could even be a relocation for some of you guys um yeah i definitely see something um about you guys really moving forward some of you guys may need to take a risk right because we got the knight of wands energy and the knight of wands um that's courage that's going to take courage Okay, so move forward here. You guys are uh, stronger than you realize. What else? Okay, let's see what this card is too. Yeah, look at that. Mm -hmm. Clearing the past to heal the present. Uh, something was not serving you guys and we got the fly energy here we got five of swords air sign gemini libra aquarius pride before fall winning at all costs yeah there was a situation where you guys um this is about you guys taking a step back from what's not serving you something isn't serving you guys and or something did not serve you and so there was definitely a, a switch in direction a change in direction there could have been severing of ties with someone here there could have been hurt and betrayal in the past look at stag big business tradition spirituality going back to big business spirituality whatever it is there is some type of significant commitment here either way i see a lot of you gemini's really taking on some type of um, leadership role when it comes to teaching healing being a guide um, also i see a situation where you guys are being guided out of a situation that could be um, or could t definitely run into the potential of being much worse okay so um trust right now some of you guys you may need to just seek those ones or um a counsel that really feels good and comfortable to you um but again keep your guys's hope and your faith is really strong in a situation and know um you know that there was a situation that wasn't um that just wasn't good for you and it's not going to serve you okay so trust that whatever is going on is really uh, beneficial for you. And there may be something here with having to really, um, you know, stick to what works, what you know what works, okay? And some of you guys, there is a potential and opportunity here of some type of big business, okay? So take, you know, stag is about leadership here. So yeah, I'm seeing something about a very noble soul here. What else for Gemini? Page of Pentacles, yeah, quest of wisdom, abundant harvest, and conserving your energy. This is really important for you guys to really conserve your energy right now because you guys are clearing the past. And it's really important that you do conserve your energy because there is some type of, uh, something is, there's some type of new quest. There is some type of new abundance and there is some type of harvest for you guys. You guys have done the work here and something is now manifesting for you so take this opportunity it's like a bit of good luck some of you guys i definitely see something with finances improving or receiving something with your finances that's going to be an increase some of you guys 
there was this energy of you guys, um, maybe for some, I don't know if I said it, maybe I didn't, I don't know. I thought I said maybe for some, there could be something with career change or a new opportunity. Um, you guys might be studying and learning. There may be something with going on a retreat to learn something here to really gain some wisdom, okay? So I'm seeing you guys receiving all the resources you need as you guys are traveling along here. Um, and also there may be something, you know, with taking care of yourself, like taking a step back and really taking care of your health and your, your physical well-being as well, okay? What else for Gemini? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So we have this eight of swords energy, self-imposed prison, a prison and having new perspectives. So again, you guys are going to have such a new perspective on who you really are, what is really serving you and what's not serving you. So take a step back because whatever you feel that is, that's keeping you from doing something, it's not okay. There just may be something here where we might just, again, have some hidden fears or there may have been challenges in the past here um, and we might be afraid to really step into our power. We may be afraid to, um, you know, go into a new direction for some of you guys. Let me see what's the other card behind it. Look at that. You guys really are going to have victory. Uh, cancer energy is coming through here. Travel, victory, and raw power. Look at this. So there may be something here absolutely with a new direction and a change of course for a lot of you guys, but know that you guys are going to have triumph. Know you're going to have power. There is um, something strong coming in here too with you guys really having some type of um, recognition for something that you're doing, okay? So uh, I see you guys really... Um, receiving what you guys need in order to really move forward and having the willpower to do so. There is something strong about travel for a lot of you Geminis too. So um, what else for Gemini? Mm -hmm. The moon again. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there's something strong psychically happening with a lot of you guys anyway. So trust it. Seeing through the shadows and psychic power. This is exactly what's happening. You guys are getting some type of... You guys are coming into or you already have received some type of information or some type of seeing something here seeing through the shadows okay so you guys may need to just trust yourself over others right now okay because i do feel that there was hurt deception and maybe you know whatever it was it just wasn't good in the past here but this is what you guys are clearing away here and you guys are really overcoming um shadow work as well Pisces energy is coming through. Uh, what else for uh, Gemini? Mm-hmm. Eight of Cups. You. Oh my goodness. Look, abandonment, is escapism, and true seeing. And I think I was talking about that. You have the Eight of Cups here. So you guys are absolutely having. There's something that you guys are gonna have true seeing and conclusion about. Um, so don't be afraid of what you guys are seeing and what it what you guys are feeling intuitively to really move away from because there is a situation or um, behaviors patterns beliefs or something here people I don't know that is not fulfilling and you guys are, are already sensing this you're already seeing something okay um, yeah it's it's just time there's something that's so much better for you it's just it's time to move on from something here. What else for Gemini? Uh, water sign is showing up. Uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Watching clouds. Lie back, rest, and relax. And this is for you guys to really um, take some time to clear the past, heal the present, so you guys can focus on hope and strength and focus on the changes and, and, and really staying, um, you know, uh, positive about the changes that are happening. Some of you guys are going to finally have an opportunity to um, really kind of retreat and be able to kind of touch base with 
um, what's really going on in your life and what really matters, okay? So make sure you guys are taking time to lie back, rest, and relax. There may be something with travel and vacation for some of you guys and really taking an, a good retreat for yourself, okay? Uh, what else? Choosing your path. <laughs> Here's the Knight of Wands energy coming through here and the Eight of Cups. Choosing your path, yeah all is possible so we've got to there's something that we have to for some of you guys it may take a lot of effort to really switch a perspective to really switch your way of thinking to really switch to being hopeful seeing our strengths right um coming into really seeing our own beauty and our own power trusting that the changes that are happening are are for the better better opportunities more in line with a, a spiritual sacred self here. So just remember that all is possible, okay? What else for Gemini? Hold on, what is it? Traveling lightly, simplify your life. So getting Queen of Swords queen or King of Swords energy, your, your, you know, your energy here. So simplify your life and travel lightly here, right? choosing your path notice this person here this knight is traveling lightly as well um, horses look at the horses on the chariot traveling lightly okay very lightly whoops a card just fell um, you know i'm gonna have to look at it let's see what fell on the ground unknown territory yes yes you're exactly where you need to be of course, I mean, hello, the moon, I mean, unknown, uncertainties, right? It's taking a lot of courage and strength to get through something here. Some of you guys may have Leo placements in your chart, or some of you guys may even have Virgo placements in your chart, and you may resonate with those two readings in these series. Um, yeah, Spirit just wants to remind you guys, you guys are exactly where you guys need to be, right? see through the shadows psychic power trust your vision right now you guys really are um some of you guys definitely are very psychic there's some type of mediumship some type of whatever it is so um some of you guys part of what has happened here was in order for you guys to really get strong with your gifts and i know it sucks but those are the life experience sometimes that we have to take on in order to really um define and refine our skills what else because i see you guys being healers teachers guides um, leaders of some type and remember traveling lightly we were talking about with the page of pentacles you guys conserving your energy okay so you don't want to take a whole lot with you um, mentally physically whatever okay emotionally you guys are protected by angels so i love it yes you are so cherished by the angels okay so uh five of swords energy and remember look at this it, the hierophant i mean this is being spiritually guided and protected so of course something bad happened here right uh whatever has happened here it's because you guys are cherished by the angels so um trust and believe in this okay have hope Maybe right now it would, you know, maybe right now it is tr time for some to strengthen that faith muscle again. What else for Gemini? Wise leader. I just told you guys we're wise leader. Spirit is so freaking funny. <laughs> so um, remember this card, the Knight of Wands, fortitude, passion, and leadership. You guys... It's going to take a lot of courage. And again, you guys, there's a lot of things that you don't know, right? You're having to feel things out. You're going to have to think quick on your feet for some of you guys, but you are a beacon for others. Gemini, look at your power here, wise leader. Yes. Yes. Raw power. Yes. Victory. Don't be afraid of the journey here. You're only finding out how um, strong you really are. What else for uh, Gemini? Yeah, trust there's a divine plan. See, here you are. Like, there's just like this sense of uncertainty, right? We're going through a change and transition. We don't know what the hell's happening. We don't, we can't see everything, right? Take a risk, venture forward. 
trust there's a divine plan even in the desert okay something very sacred is happening through this time um, of passage you guys are going through a time of sacred passage and you're going to get exactly what you need that is for you and destined for you and some of you guys just prepare because it's going to um, uh, be something that could possibly um, bring you guys a lot of stability um, security increase in um, finances uh, because um, you guys uh, are getting paid for what you guys really deserve. Okay. What else for Gemini? Bottom. Infinite abundance. Yeah, abundance is pouring into your life. We're just talking about you guys getting paid for what you guys deserve. Ace of Pentacles is abundance. Uh, Page of Pentacles is the start of abundance here. So I'm seeing 10 of Pentacles energy here. So allow this stuff to really pour into your life. Um, there's a lot of support, help, um, harvesting, reward, money, <laughs> love, you know, whatever you guys want a lot of. These are divine gifts. Here's prosperity. What else? Yeah, see, I told you, Ten of Pentacles and Ten of Cups. Fulfillment. You guys are destined to have fulfillment. See? Your quest for wisdom is not going to go um, unrewarded <laughs> in all things, okay? So I am also seeing you guys really enjoying the pleasures of um, life and the things that uh, life has to offer. So there's a lot of abundance and there's a lot of fulfillment. So um, remember, you guys are wise leaders. Um, take time if you guys need to, to really shift your focus um, and, and to really understand that there is a reason why you're right where you need to be, okay? Uh, what else for Gemini? Okay, that's it for those. So let's find out how is spirit helping Gemini? How is spirit helping Gemini? Yeah, with solitude um, to bring you guys some type of peace but also I'm definitely getting hair hair font energy right here the stag uh, the teacher the spiritual teacher the spiritual guide the shaman medicine man medicine woman because there's something about you guys listening closely to divine guidance to divine messages learning growing seeking and to find that peace is always gonna prevail okay some of you guys, you may need to silence outside um, things right now in order to really um, come into your own power, all right? Uh, I want to find out how else Spirit is helping uh, Gemini. How else is Spirit helping Gemini? Okay, it's the bottom one. Releasing control and surrendering to the journey. So Spirit is just wanting you guys to really release any fears or worries of, un un of uncertainty, of not knowing something sometimes. Um, and just release having to figure it all out, right? Um, because if you guys can release the control, the, the boat's going to um, flow exactly where it needs to go. Again, you guys are exactly, exactly where you need to be, okay? Don't question it. Just allow these things to uh, come forth. Know that you guys are exactly where you need to be and there's a, tr um, a divine plan for you. Absolutely, okay? This one wants to come out. Oh my goodness. I surrender to a, uh, to a power greater than me. You guys are learning this too. And so, you know, trust this. You guys really are surrendering to a greater power than you. And it's unfolding in your life. Know that you guys are really loved and cherished by the angels. So I hope that was helpful. Love and light. Take care.